Welcome back to AVP Bad Blood. It has been a quite a few days since the last video. Uh, we've gotten some more armor made, some double strand harvested. We've done the scarification rituals for Lout to get him fully scarred. Uh, our prisoner has been converted, but is still not close to getting recruited. We probably won't get this guy recruited. We'll probably end up abandoning him here when we leave the base. Uh, I cleared out a bunch of Tana stuff out of our stockpile. Predator gear, which I've just thrown out here to let deteriorate. I'm too not too uh, not too concerned about it. Um, I've kept the higher quality stuff in here, though. Uh, beyond that, a good quality Needler. Somebody actually has a Needler. That's... It's, it's Bear? Bear. Yeah, Bear, switch that one off. Grab that. Oh, Bear is incapable of shooting. Okay, no, Bear is not supposed to have a Needler. Bear just had a Needler because Bear was carrying a Needler from some, for some reason from some point in time. Okay. Well, let's not worry about that then. Um, I, de I declined a Pirate Ransom, so we're going to attack by Pirates. So that's what we're going to be dealing with here in a second. And other news. Is there much other news? I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, the... the Kitchen caught on fire. That was fun, but we're fine. Um, yeah, let's just give people the defensive positions. Sharpwit and Lout are both missing defensive positions. Uh, search for the trophy carapace. Oh, okay. So we do actually have this other trophy we've never done. Um, yeah, we'll take those quests. Okay. Um, who is missing? Sharpwit and Lout, I think. Uh, let's just do, yeah, Lout, no defensive position, Sharpwit. Yeah, those are the two that were down. Okay, so Sharpwit and Lout. We'll find a spot after everybody else is positioned. Uh, Slug, you're not incapable of shooting. You should actually be shooting. Um, what is the range on this? Bad. The range is bad on this. Okay. Well, Lout, you get here. Um, sharp wit. Wait, that's your defensive position? How is it not here? Okay, sharp wit should be taking probably this flank. Um, oh, your marksman command. You should be in center. So get down there. You get over here. You get over here. Save these defensive positions. Uh, and I guess we'll just toss Slug down on this flank for lack of a better place. Um, and remember that. Okay. Yeah, then the two melee only guys in the middle there. These guys are presumably not sapping, right? Yeah, they're just attacking. Okay. Well, there it is. Oh, bug, get home. You're fine. It's nighttime, so I assume the animals would be sleeping, so I didn't bother to restrict them. All right, you survived that. Congratulations. They are fast. Don't light my dudes on fire, thanks. Okay, the melee action do need to like get out here. These guys are kind of overrunning us a little bit. Ah, no behemoth. That's bad. Get out of there. Just, okay, bear, um, try to extinguish him without getting shot. Extinguish him without getting shot, maybe. Catch him, for fuck's sake. Don't go in there, bear or behemoth. Okay, you're fine. Get the fuck out of the way, guys. You're gonna get shot to death. Quick hand. Ah, we're like friendly firing ourselves really badly right now because they because they went down the flank to exit. That's really shitty. Oh my god, this was really bad, uh, really bad raid. Okay, um, I mean, nobody is dead somehow. I'm actually amazed that nobody is dead right now because this is just disastrous. Oh my god! You fucker! 
that last ditch fucking firebomb right there, that was, what the fuck, man? That was bullshit. All right, well, they're they're escaping. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Zone, expand home. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, There's a bad bit of raid in there. Okay, we're going to do that. <sighs> well, that was just, just terrible. Just terrible. Um, you guys with these bows, and all of you can go, like, see them out here. The rest of you be released and tend the fires. Enzo, you get out there too. Uh, is this guy worth capturing? He lost a finger. Very scientific pyromaniac. Hilarious. And a jogger. Um, it's a gun arm. I'll go for it. Well, you're free to go. Anybody else in here that's alive? Doesn't really look like it. So it's whatever happens to these guys. We need some more doors. So, this is a problem. Them breaking down these goddamn doors, that was really bad. Because that resulted in probably a lot of friendly fire here. Let's look at injuries. Mans Novik. Bruise from Heavy Club, Burn from Bombs. Butcherer, Bruise from a Sling. Houndmaster, Stab Spear. Human Fist Bombs, Savage, Equa, Behemoth, Burn, 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 Morose, Heavy Club, Throwing Shards. None of this is Friendly Fire. I would have been convinced that these guys down here Friendly Fired the fuck out of our dudes up here. But we appear to have mostly gotten away with it, if not completely gotten away with it. Vandal. Oh, Vandal there. M41A pulse rifle. Yeah, so there's one instance of friendly fire at least. Beatra. Burn with a fire bow. Yeah, I'll be damned. We mostly got away with that. Okay, Bear's got that going. The rest of this is looks good. Um, mostly. All right, let's get these last few fires out here because they'll keep spreading if we don't. Okay, Lout, you're good to go. Um, Newworthy kill, Men's Novik. Can be marked on by anybody. Okay, let's grab. What we got that's not injured? Deadeye's not injured. Uh, oh, can, does he not need to be marked by somebody else? I'm confused. Man's Novit can be marked on Mako by Savage, blah, 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 blah. Maybe the body's being hauled and that's the problem? I'd be surprised. Oh wait, do I have to grab the predator and pick the body? No. It should be pick man's Novak. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't matter, it's not really important. Okay, well they all fucked off. Let's go control the fires. Don't stand in the fire, my dude. Looks like nothing too good there. All right, and then for traps, actually, yeah, they already flagged to rebuild, so uh, looks like there might be one missing there. That seems fine. All right, slug, you're free to go. It looks like no like persi persistent injuries either. Slave Rebellion on Enzo. Is now really the time, my dude? 
You serious right now? We're still working on this armor. This is like the last thing I wanted to finish before we abandon the map. Um, we just did the advanced tech, which gave us some higher quality gear here, but presumably we can't do much of anything with that. We're doing traps now. I figured that'd be a good like last research that we may or may not finish. Not really important, but you know, if we get it, we get it. Uh, Falconer biomask, for instance, takes plasteel, uranium. Yeah, we just don't have plasteel. Steel, plasteel, gold component advanced, yeah. No plasteel, it's all been used in light chest plates, which I'm pretty okay with. Oh, bear, sorry, you can go. Uh, did you, okay, we gotta get this stuff hauled out of here urgently so we can close these doors. Okay. No storage space for this body. space oh uh, and then they're care they're cleaning up this home zone we expanded so let's get rid of that caravan animals a couple of yaks be carrying mr yak seven entire silver wow amazing you did it still got this worthy kill which we haven't figured out Where's Man's Novak? Right here. Um, you're kind of busy. Who's not busy? There we go. Now that works. Great. Well, we'll at least let these guys heal up before we leave the base. It looks like this one doesn't need to be turned on anymore. Four thousand eight hundred eighty pemmican, eight hundred eighty pemmican. I might have said eight hundred eighty-eight. Not that the distinction matters that much. Okay, well I think we're gonna sit here and wait mostly. Well, I guess we'll check out our new dude or our new new lady. Um, okay, it's shooting. Very scientific. Hit medical, learning, research speed, and hacking speed. Yeah. So animals and intellectual. That's it. Maybe I'll just put you straight intellectual. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do two on animals. Intellectual on a one. Uh, which won't work right now because you have predator research queued up. But, you know, it's fine. You do crappy crafting. That's fine, too. None of this, though. Yeah. All right, and then you need to be properly set up here. Anything you have, carnivore, my on them, okay. Uh, and you'll take, I guess, a pulse rifle as well. Enzo insulting spree, whatever. Um, actually, unacceptable. Stop him. Masterwork, human leather TP. Really? Wow. Uh, let's make sure at least one of these is available for slaves. Get him put back in bed. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut here and wait for uh, other stuff to get done or to leave the map or whatever. Oh, we get a sudden bout of malaria. We probably need to see this through. It is on Raga. Only one of the humans. Raga is definitely the biggest concern. Let's get him in a medical bed. Uh, let's turn this guy off. That way we can conserve power for these um, vitals monitors. The Preds are probably fine. We probably don't need to worry about them too much for malaria. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of let them do their thing. Well, not refrigerated, even. Yeah, well, all the base is venting together there, so it kind of makes sense. Eight and seven. Twelve and six. Fourteen and five. Yeah, I guess the only concern would be if we had a bad 10 on some of these Preds. 10 quality 25%, that's still 6% ahead. I think the Preds are just fine. We do have um, Panoxy Silean. I don't know if... Yeah, prevents. So we'd have to have this going beforehand. Doesn't even help with the existing ones. I haven't bothered to set up that drug bill. Probably not going to bother to set that up at all, to be honest. Do we want to put something that, somebody else on Luciferium? Like, uh, maybe Butcher as our number two. Or one of the melee. Slug. No, Bear is the one who is the melee class. Hey, let's put Bear on Luciferium. We'll let that happen as well. All right, we'll check back with the, the uh, malaria in a little bit and see if we can leave. We found an artifact. We had to clear the jungle to even see it, but uh, let's activate it. Bunch of raiders. That is uh, a handful of people, but they have real goddamn weapons. Interesting. All right, defensive positions it is, guys. Who's carrying 63 wood? Let's not worry about it. A uh, new person needs a spot uh, down there. You're carrying wood. One. Save defensive position. Actually, are you the one that's... No, we'll have all hands on deck for this, I think. Uh, Bear and Behemoth. Behemoth, you're carrying 63 wood. Get rid of it. And the bird skin, get rid of it. Um, we're missing a dude. Oh, Lout's, no, nope, Lout's not here. Oh, we never set Lout's defensive position, I guess. Whoops. Uh, let's save your defensive position here. Yeah, man's Novik, take cover behind the bone spike. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, it's probably fine. Ooh, they're rocking like armor and stuff too, though. All right. And there they go. Um, I'd like to see them out. Potentially some useful stuff here. Uh, 
poor quality. I mean, I guess it's really just that front one there that was armored. All right, a little bit of damage there from that. A little bit of machine pistol damage, auto pistol damage, not, not that scary. Um, is that everybody? I think we might have killed them all. I thought there was another one that was not as close as the rest of them. Oh, that's probably this guy over here. Sniper rifle could be interesting. A um, little bit of mixed arms that way if we give it to one of the slaves. It's only poor quality though, right? Nah, I'm probably not going to bother. Poor quality one instead of... Uh, Some of those pulse rifles we're using doesn't seem like it. They could be worth it. Uh, light club, that's gotta go. Well, I think we're just about ready to leave though. So really we don't need to sort out the stockpile. Raga is probably the most threatened by malaria and he's 62.45. The Preds I think are almost over at 80, 35, 75. Yeah, so I think in the morning we'll leave, which means I'll queue up the tents to be uh, Uninstall. Actually, here's what we should do. We should grab the unoccupied tents and make sure those are immediately uninstalled tonight. And then we grab the occupied tents in the morning, uninstall those, and then caravan out of here. We do need these tents, or at least some of these tents, because we do have people living indoors right now. And they'll live in the tents on the road. So we don't want to just let those tents... Um, uh, go. We can also uninstall Ragas because Raga is staying uh, in a bed, in a medical bed for like the whole time, for sure. All right, then they're gonna yeah haul around meals and stuff. That's fine too. Oh, actually, they probably like, won't. Let's do a stockpile zone in here. Wait, is there a stockpile zone in here? What for? There already is like a stockpile in here. I don't remember why. Let's just make this meals. Uh, except for, you know what? This can be all meals at normal priority. That's fine. We just want to get them like in a stockpile and like moved in doors basically. Cause it's free food. Chance of like food poisoning, but I don't care that much. And then just like overflow for survival meals if that happens to be a thing. We could also just add tent, the tents. Wait, teepees. That way if we have any teepees that are stuck outside because there's a lack of storage space, they can also be moved here. A party, okay, you guys go have a party at night, that's fine. Looks like everything's basically uninstalled that we could uninstall. So yeah, in the morning we'll uh, roll out. We'll abandon this base. All right, time is here. We're abandoning this base. Rhinos, elephants, and the Giga Wing. Uh, we'll leave the prisoner behind. Slaves come with. And the Preds. Uh, we're not gonna abandon this base yet. We're gonna like leave it here. If it gets raided, we'll probably just abandon it then. Uh, give me hay, all the pemmican probably that we can carry because we're going to go on the road forever. Don't need human meat. Medicine. We've got a lot. 118, 4, 46, and 125. That might be too much. TPs. We'll take them all. 740 out of 111. 18.7 a day. All right. We're going to build a new base at some point. Let's take four advanced components. Um, I might keep a little bit of Nutramine on hand. Maybe just a little bit of cloth. We can bring our higher quality skins with, just in case we get a chance at some more. Like a little bit of Rhino. Stuff like that. Actually, the Rhino doesn't really matter that much. Double Strand, Hyperweave, Thrumbo Fur. Did we long ago abandon our Fenrir? I think we did. Psychite T for Mood. Could bring that Pinox. I don't think we will. Bring the Lucy. Don't care about any materials except for plasteel because that's what we make bread armor out of in the future. 
Uranium I would like to bring, but it's probably just too heavy. Let's not bother. Skull of the Worthy and the Mech Trophy. These are our two trophies. Bodies I don't care about. Uh, prosthetic arms and legs. A few spare limbs. I'm going to leave the kidneys. I don't think I can. Well, let's take a kidney. Why not? Elephant Tusk, Thrombohorn can stay. Uh, Masterwork Shield. Probably should be equipped on somebody. Let's grab it. Bunch of shit melee that we don't care about. The only good maul is the one that's equipped. Same with like the bows. I think we can leave all those behind. Um, I think we have probably enough pulse rifles. Maybe I'll bring a spare pulse rifle. Maybe a spare plasma pistol or two. That might not be bad. 65 percent 93 that's a good percentage we'll grab one of you 90 percent plasma pistols we'll grab two in terms of apparel might not be bad to bring a little bit of this along i might just skip down here to like the highest quality that's tainted duster that's too bad Um, how is this sorted though? It's like by category than by value. A little awkward. Okay, so like the regular clothing, I guess, first. Which seems to cap out here. So an excellent human leather slave body strap, human leather tribal wear, masterwork bone armor. Let's bring one of these. Two of these. Two of these. I guess we'll bring one of these, one of these. Okay, then we've got headgear, which includes the collars. So let's grab one of these and one of these. Then we've got armor, quivers. Uh, we could do with maybe a couple spare quivers. They're light. Might as well. I want the good marine armor we've been dragging around the whole goddamn game without a candidate to wear it because we cannot find a bloodlust or psychopath human to save our lives. But I'm still going to keep it. I'm still going to bring it with. Don't care about these. Oh, good and excellent. There's an excellent one. We'll take that. Uh, smoke bomb, yes. That's a good side equipment. Keep the medic bag on us. Uh, excellent rhinoceros leather cloak. Even though the quality is down. Eh, we can always make more. Cloth. Xenomorph leather tribal cloak, 4.7%. 33%. Garbage. Poor quality devil strand yaucha vest. Probably made by that asshole who won't listen. He just goes and decides to make his own stuff. Uh, this xenomorph vest, though, should we should keep. That's pretty good. Do you want this normal devil strand? Maybe. Maybe this good tribe cloak too. No, you know what? Let's take the excellent, even though it's deteriorated. We'll take that. Oh, there's devil strand tribe cloaks here. Normal. 75% masterwork rhino. Um... No, I'll take, take that one and take one of these. Good 22% tainted greaves. Excellent greaves. I feel like we should have those on somebody, even though they're tainted. Masks. Good quality. Sure. Another good quality. Another good quality. Three is maybe too many. We'll bring these two. Oh, this one's not even tainted. Um, so we got one Greaves. No chest plate. Let's bring... We'll grab a light chest plate. Those are pretty good. And then we got some wrist blades. How about this excellent blade? And, uh... 
Maybe just that. Maybe just the one excellent one. Seven gold. We had a problem getting gold before. Let's bring some. I'm like 250 silver. 841 out of 111. Room to grow or to lose, dudes. Let's do that. I'm going to make a save because caravans are broken half the time, it feels like. So we'll do that. And if any of them um, lose their damn minds, we're just going to uh, kick them out of the caravan. Mm. Okay, they're actually going. Amazing. We'll have to wait for that bug, I think, to catch up to everybody else, but that's pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. We're so close. Come on, back grown gigawig. What do you even do? <sighs> Play it, stick the rock, and earth manure. Often using the word the village digs, blah, blah, blah. Regularly digs through the ground, consuming rocks and leaving metals. When have we ever seen this? I mean, maybe we just never noticed. They very well might be doing the thing. It's really slow. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Great. Okay. Uh, and yeah, the pre the prisoner is left without a warden. Presumably he'll uh, either sit there and starve or break out. I'm actually curious to see which. And we're heading out down across the South Pole, and we're going to go hit this uh, feral faction base first. Swing over, take out these, what, Vikings or something, and then make our way back to more temperate climates and get up here and start working on these predator bases, I guess. So that's the plan. We'll uh, see what the future holds. I think we'll finish the caravanning this episode and then we'll do the raid next episode. So I'm gonna pause the recording, um, but then I'll be back if we safely reach our destination or if we have some raids. Well, something did happen during our caravanning, but it's not a problem for the caravan. It's a problem for the uh, the base we've abandoned here. We've got bugs that fell from the sky. Can our base defend itself with traps? Uh, nope, not entirely. This spellipede's gonna try and break through this wall, it looks like. That's really funny. Are there other bugs here? He just, he just sits there and eats that wall. Wait. Change his mind. And down. Oh, he destroyed that one tile, and that was enough for him. Great. Was it really just two bugs? I guess because we didn't have any colonists on the map. They go easy on you for the raid. That's funny. Base saved itself. Now we're approaching the ice cap now. We got some break risks popping up here. People who are really unhappy that the uh, some of the pemmicans made a human meat and or predator meat. They don't like that very much, but whatever. Now that we're on the road, berserk. Now that we're on the road, it's 1.5 days only to the base. We're making really good time here by the cap. Um, whoops. Unless I do that. Okay, we're fine. We're back. We're back on track. Well, we've also figured out what happens when you leave a prisoner locked in a room. Uh, they die of starvation. Uh, that's a, that's yeah, not surprising, actually. That's a very obvious outcome. Well, the Xenos found our base. I think they're not going to be discouraged by a few traps. Uh, unlike the insects. Oh, you're just going to destroy that wheel for a bit, huh? To be fair, the animals could kill them, actually. Distinctly possible. Bleeding out. Bleeding out? The runner is going to have a go at it, though. Well, okay. Um, it's nice knowing your base. I think we'll just uh, we'll just uh, have to go have to go uh, do one of these and uh, boop. <laughs> Job done. All right, officially we're nomadic again, uh, and we're pulling up on this base now in just 0.2 days. So I think that'll be it for this episode. Next time we'll get on with the murder.